been uh, arriving here in Portland? Well, uh, yeah, uh, it feels great. Uh, it's Friday now, so we got here Wednesday. Been a little bit uh, of a jet lag, if you put it that way. Sleepless nights, uh, since it's nine hours earlier here than it was at home. But uh, it feels great to be here, uh, finally. I get to uh, sit in the mood that I've been waiting for a while now to get. So um, it was a lot of paperwork, a lot of waiting for my part between the clubs that they would uh, find an agreement. So just patience, patience, but finally paid off. Why did you want to uh, join the Timbers and come to MLS? Well, basically the situation changed uh, a couple of weeks ago when I got suspended, I shouldn't say, but I played for two teams during six months in Europe. So you're not allowed to play for a third team in, in, in one season, since they play summer to summer. So I, I played 45 minutes in a in a second team game. Just to get fit, I asked the trainer, oh, can I, can I get some, some minutes in because I want to get match fit? And he said, sure, why not? So I played 45 minutes with my uh, uh, last team where I played in Holland for 45 minutes. And then I made a move to Italy where I played as well. So those are officially two clubs that I've already represented. So I couldn't make a move inside Europe. It had to be um, a competition where they, uh, a league where they start in the winter to winner. Um, so that's the States, China, and I think Sweden. Um, so obviously then this uh, opportunity presented itself and yeah, uh, directly caught my attention. Uh, I made my some some research. I saw I saw the fans, I saw the city, I asked around a couple of friends that I have in the league and people that have played here and uh, they recommended it. Uh, and from everything I saw it was a very professional club. Uh, it's a project where they're hoping to grow and make steps. And um, me, I'm just here trying to improve that and, and, and join that and help the club grow. Who were the people that you kind of reached out to in MLS? Uh, well, I know Greg from from, from Toronto, I, uh, Pamaduka, that used to play here. Uh, I, actually, I played with Will Johnson. He played here a couple of years ago as well. Uh, used to play with Michael Bradley back in the days in, in Holland. Uh, so there are uh, a couple a couple guys that I <coughs> that I know that played in the league. And a couple of Dutch guys as well that I, I played with a couple of years ago in Holland. I played now in, in DC and in Union. So, um, well, there's a, there's a lot of uh, always football is moving and it's a, it's a universal sport. So it's a small world, really. So how did the opportunity kind of come about? Um, did you kind of hear through your agent or did you have conversations with Gavin and Gio about the potential move? Uh, no, he had the, the, the contacts. Uh, so I got the word from him. And uh, yeah, tell you the truth, I was excited when I heard about the, the possibility. And uh, yeah, I'm just happy we made it work. And uh, you obviously, there's Timbers have Audi as well. Uh, you're coming in. What role do you hope to play this year with the club? I'm here to compete. I'm here to compete. I know my strengths. Uh, I know I'm a high level player. Uh, when I get the chance, that I'm coming here hoping to improve and at least help uh, to fill in whatever spot. Uh, uh, the, the trainer feels uh, necessary. Uh, well, obviously, I've been in season already for for a couple of months, for five, six months. Uh, so physically, I feel good. Just have to get in the rhythm again after all the traveling. It was an 18-hour drive up from Italy to Holland, and uh, to get all my stuff out the apartment. So that was an 18-hour drive, and then got on a flight for 11 hours, and then that mixed with the jet lag. So give me a couple of days, and I'll be good. Um, and what kind of, when you describe yourself as a player, what are the skills you think you bring to this club? Well, physically I'm a strong player. I can hold the ball pretty well. Uh, technically, I'm I'm pretty strong. It's one of my my uh, my strongest points. And obviously, uh, efficient in front of the goal. Um, last season, I scored 21 goals in 25 matches, uh, which is a is a. It's a, it's a good season. I felt uh, I felt really good. I made the move to Italy. Obviously, uh, that didn't pay out as as we would have hoped. As the whole team was in a bad situation, it was difficult getting results. Uh, but yeah, uh, explosive as well, uh, physically explosive, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm good in combination games as well, or uh, with the, with the teammates, of course, in, in having that uh, uh, short passage and then yeah, dangerous in front of the goal. How much have you kind of gotten to know the players here in only obviously two days? Well, not too much. I, I of course, I, I met everybody. Uh, everybody has welcomed me uh, with open arms, and yeah, I've even had guys, uh, you know, asking me for if 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 I need any help or need to know anything, they're here to help me out. So very welcoming, uh, 
uh, arrival I've had and and it feels like a like a I don't know familiar is that a familiar it's not the word uh, no, like a family uh, ish club where people take care of each other so I'm happy about that too and what's your expectation kind of the level of play in MLS obviously you had the chance to talk to some people but you've played in yeah games. actually I don't I live life but not having too many expectations so I take it day by day uh, of course uh, I played in Europe now all my life I'm 27 years old right now I turned pro when I was 16 so it's been it's been a while but uh yeah I take Every country I go to, every club I, I, I join, I, I attempt to learn as much as I can from the situation and adapt, of course. Uh, they might have a vision, different vision or different uh, kind of strategy, how they play over here as what I'm maybe been used to. So maybe it's a bit to learn for both of us and uh, I just hope to improve and become better, better by day by day.